one thing I always say is you have to remain relevant to your clients in the services that you offer. Hi, my name is Sylvia Moramo Chabo. I'm the founder of Tech Hub Holdings, which trades with three subsidiaries, Tech Hub Creations, Tech Events, and Tech Hub Enterprises. Under Tech Hub Events, we do events, corporate events, and international exhibitions. Under Tech Hub Creations, we do social media management, public relations, advertising, and branding. Under Tech Hub Enterprises, we do printing on paper, that is doing flyers, office stationaries, newsletters, and magazines. And then we have a foundation called Andy Speaks for Special Needs Persons, where we champion for inclusion of persons with neurodevelopmental disabilities. Why I started my business, I discovered that I was good at what I was doing. And uh, in all the jobs that I went to, I was actually put from one business, one, one company to the other. And I realized my clients followed me where I was. So it was about the services I offered as an individual. And I've just gotten a, uh, a baby and I've been told it was a special needs baby. And it was interfering with my work because I needed to be in hospital so many times. So I decided, let me do this. Let me just try uh, get into business. And it took a lot of uh, risk taking <laughs> to actually just jump out of that security with a newborn child and with that complexity of us being a special needs child. But it was worked out so far because you have the time to balance it. I've adjusted to now the consulting. We had to like reduce our prices a bit without hurting ourselves because at the same time also cutting down on some of the things that we were doing like uh, our expenses, we had to renegotiate our rentals, we had to send some of our staff home, we had to actually lay off some. It was sad but you know sometimes you also have to be factual with what's going on and face things head on because otherwise to be just accruing debt which is not wise in business. Uh, for those starting out in business, it is a risk. You have to be ready and be prepared for the ups and downs. You know, when you're in employment, there are things behind the scenes that go on that you're not prepared for. You know, like the rental, salaries. So you're just seeing the, the cream of business and you think you can do it. So you have to be sure what you want to get into and have your plans laid out. Start in advance, start planning, start saving how you're going to have your exit strategy. And also be honest with your employer when you're about to quit. My, my past employers are still my friends because I was very honest. I'm, I'm planning to do this, this is the term. And I do demarcate that I'm not going to touch your clientele. I have my own clientele. And even when clients come to you, send them back, let it be at their own discussion that they're coming back to you so that you avoid that conflict of interest. Integrity is key, very, very. My experience in accessing finance has been a bit tricky and uh, <laughs> unorthodox because I actually started my business with my former boss. That's how much faith I had in myself because I was like, you know what I can do, so you help me with financing, let's do this together. That's where I started. I'm afraid of loans, so uh, <laughs> financial institutions, we are friends, but only when necessary, like when I really, really have to. And I just work within my limits so that I don't also overburden myself. NCBA has been an awesome partner in our business because I know the days that I'm busy and I, I can't even bank my checks, they come to me. So that is something that I don't get. That personalized service that they give me is what keeps me there. And when I'm stuck, it's a phone call and things get sorted. If I'm not in the country, I will be able to just do an email and get things done. I'll give you an example of last week, there was a payment we received and it was from a microfinance, so it was not reflecting according to time and we needed to pay other people against that. The bank actually funded our account to sort that out, then they took it back when the check cleared. Who else can do that for you? Our potential clients can reach us on our social media pages, on our website, that's www.techhubholdings.com and also you can visit us at our offices here on City Park Drive. We are on off Limuru Road, on Tower B, 8th floor, at our Valley View Office Park. So we are always ready to serve you. Even if it's on social media, we will respond. You call us, we will pick up the call and talk you out. Thank you.